Eunuch Pan, guards at the front gate just sent Physician Doe back. He showed them his own warrant and asked to see you. He has something important to tell you. Send him in. Yes, sir. Why did you come back? You just disappeared like that, and you're back out of the blue. Ah, oh, you guys think this is a game? You've got me totally baffled. Physician Doe. What was it you wanted to tell me? Here's your chance. I'm all the ears. It better be good. Mm. <laughs> Deputy Chief Penn, I served at the Body Disposal Division as a low-paid junior medical staff. In order to increase my income, I sneaked in some knickknacks to sell them at the harem. But then, I got caught by Eunuch's son. He scolded me harshly and threatened to expel me. When Shunzo was arrested because of this side business, I got scared and escaped from the palace. I didn't realize how serious this case was until I saw my face on the wanted poster. Shunzo was simply helping me. It was all my idea, and Eunuch soon had no knowledge of it whatsoever. I made a grave error. Then things made it even worse by putting blame on others. So I've come back to turn myself in. I'll take full responsibility for my deeds. Ah, oh, you fled the palace out of fear at first. And now you're handing yourself in out of guilt. That sounds like a convincing story. But something about this just doesn't quite seem right. Eunuch Pan is young and irresponsible. Illegal trade in the palace is a minor misdemeanor. Please consider the fact that he's confessed and be lenient with him. In exchange, I'll give you all of my savings. How does that sound? Sunda Chong, leaving the palace without permission is a crime. The wardrobe service has been asking me about him every day. If he hadn't have come back, you wouldn't have been beaten to a bloody pulp. Now that he's here, that makes things a whole lot easier. I don't want more trouble. Shunzo will be deducted a year's pay and flogged 50 times. <gasps> As for you, you will be put into custody, pending further interrogation and awaiting your sentence. Would you? Huh? That's very merciful. Thank you, sir. <laughs> don't panic, Miss Ani. I don't have any contacts in the palace, but I know people who do. They'll find out what happened to you. Then we'll see what we can do. I promise everything will be fine. I have a bad feeling about this. The odds are really against her. I'm sorry. But I can't tell you why. I know very little about the whole picture. But she must have had her own reasons to conceal her identity and hide inside the harem, disguised as a male physician. I understand that. You don't need to apologize. Thank you for understanding. 
I don't know who else I can go to, so I'm depending on you to help you. I feel much better that you are here. Don't mention it, Anni. You are. Is also a close friend of mine. I still have some things to attend to. If there's any news of Hure, please let me know. You can find me at the home or the house. Sure. Fuzha! Sunza! Wait, sir. Let's Come go. here! Sunza! Give me a hand! You're back! I've been worried, sir! Careful! You guys, carry him into his room right away. Make the bed soft. I'll get some medicine for him. Take him inside. Hurry. Yes, sir. Easy now. Careful. Go. Mind the step. What are you just standing there for? Come help us. Yes, sure, sure. I told you that Shunzu would be fine, and he'd come back soon, but you wouldn't listen. Uh, I thought so, too. This is Shunzu we're talking about. Of course he's OK. Hey, 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 I got no, it, I got it. Fine, whatever, go take it. Now that he's returned, I'll just go back to my old spot, all right? Put some soft sheets and quilts on it. They'll dampen the pain. Well, come on. Help me carry him. Hey. Now be careful. Shunza, don't cry. Oh, don't worry. Master's back. He's here. How do you feel, Shunza? Please leave us. I'd like to have a word with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me check your wounds. Did I hurt you? <laughs> this way, please. Master Joel, he's right inside here. Physician Doe. <gasps> Master Jewel! I appreciate your talent, so I've offered you a spot at the wardrobe service. However you look at it, that would be much better than dealing with corpses. But I don't get it. Why would you rather sneak out of the palace and make yourself wanted than work for me? Master Jewel, you misunderstand. You're the first person who's visited me here. I'm grateful for that. And I feel guilty about disappointing you. Why did you leave then? You'd better have a very good reason. I'm sorry, Master Jewel. I know your mother's disciple, but I can't tell you who I am. Many people have suffered because of my identity. I can't put you in danger too. I've already explained everything to Deputy Chief Pan. Shunza was just helping me sell the knickknacks I bought. But when Shunza got arrested because of it, it really scared me. I fled to void punishment. I enjoyed being outside, and I ended up staying even longer. I thought that when I returned, Senior Sun would have taken care of everything, like he always had, whenever I ended up getting into trouble. It wasn't until I saw myself on that wanted poster that I realized how much trouble I had made, so I rushed back to turn myself in. Thodes is smarter than that. Why would he do such a stupid thing? There must be more to it. But for now, that's not my concern. All I need from him is the information I'm looking for. You've committed a felony. The eunuch house won't let you off the hook so easily, but I... I'm in admiration of your talents. 
As long as you answer my questions honestly, then my offer to transfer you to my department will still stand. Yunag Pan is a friend of mine. I could help you get out of here. Well, what is it that you really want to know about? Tell me where you got your fine tailoring skills. Did someone teach you or possibly? Did you learn everything from some secret book? I want nothing but the truth. Mm. <sighs> Master Dwa, is that all you want to know? <sighs> I started to patch clothes for coworkers from a young age. They all said I was good at tailoring. So I started to develop a fondness for stitching things. Aside from that, I got to see a lot of dead concubines in extravagant gowns. I sketched the patterns down and tried to recreate them myself. So I'm completely self-taught. Self-taught? Hmm. That's much easier said than done. Let me ask you something. Did you ever know the best weaver, Master Anne? I've heard a lot about how skilled she was. She's infamous for her talents, but there's no way. We'd have crossed paths. However, I do know that you're her disciple. Could you tell me more about Master An's story? Her disciple? That woman was always selfish and petty. She never taught me any useful skills. Our relationship was a complete sham, nothing else. <sighs> you say Master An? was a selfish and petty woman? I'd rather not talk about a criminal. However, her skills were indeed exceptional. If you know anything about her methods and techniques that you'd like to share with me, that would help my department and you'd redeem yourself in return for your service, I'd get you out. As I promised. I work with dead bodies every day. How could I know anything about her techniques? I'm giving you a chance here. Take your time and think about it. If you recall anything, get the prison guard to deliver a message to me whenever. Don't give him any food nor water. Yes. If he asks to see me at any time, let me know immediately. Yes, Master Zhou. Consider it done. <sighs> it sounds like Master Zhuo is a jealous woman and hates my mother to the core. That's no way to speak of your own master. What could have gone wrong? Don't ever talk to Zhuo Jingyang again. You mustn't let her know your real identity. Why is that? Because of your safety. Come to think of it, Senior Soon's reaction was a bit odd. He's been keeping me away from Mother's sole disciple. Could it be that he was never protecting her, but me instead? Could Zhuo Jinyang be my enemy? Shunzu. <sighs> Ever since you were sent back here, you haven't said a single word to me. I know that you're mad at me for not saving you. But actually, it's not what you think. How could I ever give you up? I tried everything within my power. At first, that Pan Xinhai said that he'd release you if I gave him enough money. 
I put together my life savings. Even Fudza and Quidza pitched in all they had for you. But it still wasn't enough. <sighs> then I borrowed more from others. When I finally had enough money with me and went to see him, he refused to let me in. It's very obvious that Chuo Jin Yang was behind it all. No doubt about it. Despite the money I paid, they still tortured you. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I wish I could have protected you. If there's any way you can forgive me, just say something. Please, Shunza. Just a single word. Why didn't she tell me before doing something so rash? Wouldn't she be handing herself over? By going back there? What good would that do? It was all so sudden. She insisted on going back. I couldn't just leave her at home by herself. In case she snuck out. I had planned to come to the shop this morning to tell you about it. But she ran away in the night. I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. I was so fast asleep. I didn't know she had left. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up about it. Luli's very loyal to her friends. But she's also very stubborn. Once she's determined, nothing can change her mind. The palace is heavily guarded. It's impossible for us to hear from her. How can we get news about her condition? Eleven years ago, I failed to protect her. And now I've failed her. I've lost her again. <clears throat> I've failed her as her uncle. <laughs> This is the one. Uh. <laughs> I appreciate it. eunuch san I'll watch the door. Make it quick, all right? You need to hurry. I can't give you too much time. Uh. Hey, daughter. Are you all right? Senior Sun, Zhuo Jingyang isn't just mother's only disciple. There must be a reason that you've kept her distant from me, right? Was Zhuo Jingyang here? Did you... Did you tell her about your identity? No, of course not. <sighs> That's a relief. You did well. We don't have much time. Other things can wait, all right? Here, I prepared this food myself. It tastes 
Same as it did eleven years ago. Understood? You next soon. I was just passing by and saw you skulking in here. Are you aware that all these prisoners are felons? No outside visitors or food are permitted. Rules are rules. You're still not off the hook for letting Doza escape. And now you're looking for even more charges. <laughs> the palace is governed by law, but we're still human. I just brought him food because I care about him. I'm not as heartless as you are. You come here in the middle of the night just to make a judgment of me here? The last time that I checked, you aren't in charge of the prisoners here. <laughs> <sighs> Eunuch son, it really is a violation of the rules. To visit prisoners, I'll bring them food. Don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. Don't ever trust anyone. You must remember my words to you. You'd better get going. I don't want you to get in trouble. Move! Hurry up! Ah, go on! Get in there! Physician Doe, have you thought about my suggestion? Senior Sun told me not to trust her, and according to her track record, she's no pushover. It wouldn't be wise to act against her. I'd better play along first. Ah. Ah. Master Jewel, I can't wait to get the heck out of here and start working for you. What else could I possibly ask for? After you left last night, I thought long and hard, and dug deep, deep into my memory, and I remembered a few things. You really did? Hmm? And what did you remember? 
<clears throat> when I was little, I found a special notebook. In it were all kinds of embroidery patterns and beautiful designs. I'm quite certain that that's where all my skills began. <gasps> and where's that book now? Where, where did you find it? In the body disposal division. Among the burial objects of a concubine. I read it cover to cover, then put it back in her coffin. Then of course I buried it with her. Which concubine? Her name? Her rank? It's been far too long. I, I really don't remember. Even if I did, what could you do? Would you open up her coffin and take it from her? Even if you did that, that old book would have turned to dust by now. Then, how about you? Give me sketches of the patterns and write out the techniques. Well, mm, I can give it a try and should be able to draw a few. The problem is, I haven't had anything to eat in two days. I'm too weak to even hold a brush. I'll have them bring you something good to eat. Draw everything you remember. Don't you dare try to trick me. I have countless ways for you to wish you were dead. Do I make myself clear? <sighs> yes, absolutely, of course. I'm not a fool. Why would I starve myself or miss out on a promotion? You just want me to sketch the patterns. I'll get started as soon as I'm full. Shunze, I brought your medicine. Drink it while it's hot. Shunze. Shunze? Fuzze, Guizze. Yes, master. Where did Shunze go? Huh? Where is Shunze? Huh? He was he was right here a moment ago. Where could he have gone? He's right, Master. Don't worry yourself. He's too injured. To have gone far. Ay, ever since he's been back, he's been giving me the silent treatment. I knew something was wrong with him. Split up and find him. Okay. We must hurry. A okay. few seconds delay could mean life and death. Go on, go! We'll find him. Yes, we're on it! Shunze. There you are. What are you doing here all by yourself? You're still recovering from your wounds. And it's windy out here. You'll catch a chill. Let's go back home now, huh? Stop there, Master. Don't come any closer. If you do, I'll jump right now. <laughs> I'll write whatever you say. I'll stay here, huh? Shunza, I know that in their hands, you must have went through a lot and suffered. Suffered a lot of pain. But think about it. Doza came back 
And he also turned himself in, regardless of the risk to himself, so that we could be safe. If you drowned yourself, won't all his effort have been in vain, am I right? Don't you agree? <laughs> it is I who failed you. And I failed those too. <laughs> it's all my fault. And I George and Yang mislead me into thinking you only cared about those. <laughs> you had abandoned me to protect myself. I confessed everything and told her that it was Dozo who sold those pouches. <laughs> I even told her that he had escaped from the palace. <laughs> Master. <laughs> I betrayed my best friend in the world. <laughs> I shouldn't live. <laughs> Shunze, Shunze, Shunze! Easy now, calm down. Shunze, son, please don't take another step forward. I understand how guilty you must feel, but think again. No matter how mercilessly Zhuo tortured or baited you, you still kept Dozo's identity a secret from her. Because you are a loyal and trustworthy friend. Am I right? Master. How can you be so sure that I didn't tell her her identity? If you told that treacherous, evil witch Dodz's identity, she would have gotten rid of him long ago. I wronged you. And Dodz too. Shunza, get up. Son, get up. <laughs> Shunza, I don't blame you, and neither would Dodza, believe me. Even with the circumstances, you did really well. All I want is for you to be safe. I can't stand seeing you or Dodza get hurt. I see you both as my own children. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. No, it's not. You did great. But right now, I can't go anywhere. How can I deliver his message to the Crown Prince? It's getting late. Master, aren't you going to rest? Just tell me what you want. Tomorrow I'm going to the West Market to purchase stock. While I'm out, may I go to my childhood home to visit my uncle and his family? My parents passed away when I was a little child. And it was my uncle and his family who took care of me throughout my childhood. 
Earlier today, I received a letter from him saying he missed me and wished to see me. <sighs> I do understand, Qingyang. You can go. Don't forget to be back before curfew. Thank you, Master. Come on in and take a look. Tao's clothing store is holding a celebration. Everything is on sale. Miss Tao, what's the occasion? Has there been good news? What exactly is the big fuss over here? <laughs> we don't just have good news. We have fantastic news to share. Our dear Chin Yang is coming home. And with a very distinguished honor. Isn't that wonderful? Of course it is. <gasps> Sister, huh? she's just a distant relative of our family. Aren't you exaggerating just a little bit? <sighs> <laughs> she's lost her parents. So we're all the family she has. Right now, Rui Clothing Store's business is booming. We must play our cards right, or we'll be out of business in no time. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> our Qin Yang is the sole disciple of Master Zhuo from the wardrobe service. Exactly. <laughs> and she represents our clothing store. All right. <laughs> Auntie. Huh? Qin Yang has finally come home to visit us, but she can't stay for too long. Why don't you go inside and actually talk to her? We don't need a welcoming committee. It's not like she's a royal concubine. <laughs> this is a little bit too much. This is a great opportunity to promote our store. But uh, Just leave me be. Go help the others. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Qin Yang is the only disciple of Master Zhuo in the palace. Please right, come inside right. and check out our garments. We have a special offer today. Young lady has to see you. Thank you, Mr. Chong. <laughs> Mr. Pei. Miss Honey. Let's talk over there. Miss Honey. I've asked around quite a bit. However, I haven't heard any news about you yet. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I came to see you for that exact matter. I need your opinion on something important. <laughs> Do you remember Tao Wu, the son of the owner of Tao's clothing? <gasps> One of his relatives is named Qi Niang. She's been serving at the wardrobe service and the disciple of Master Zhuo. Uh, her master, is a very powerful figure at the wardrobe service. I was thinking that she might have some contacts in the palace. She has gotten out of the palace and at the store now. I meant to ask her if she knows of Yuer. However, considering that the story of her identity is so sensitive, I couldn't afford to risk it all. That's why I came to you for advice. I understand your concern. How about this? We don't need to tell her. That is about Yu Er. That's right. In the palace, Yu Er is Physician Do. Don't tell Qin Yang about Physician Do, so as not to expose her identity. We just say Physician Do is a friend of mine, and I need him to do me a favor in the palace. Therefore, we go to Qin Yang and ask her about him. Sound good? That's perfect. You've only met Yu Er recently. Even if others get suspicious later, they won't be able to find out about her secret. We must hurry. Let's go see Qin Yang. <laughs> Qin Yang. Qin Yang, let me introduce you. This is Miss Annie, manager of the Ruyi clothing store, <laughs> as well as my friend. <laughs> That man is... That's not important. Ah, Qin Yang. She actually has a favor to ask of you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Tao's friend, Ani. This is Mr. Pei from Simon Academy. Greetings, Qin Yang. My name is Pei Xingjie. Please forgive me, but it's urgent. I had no one else I could go to. I understand that you're from the palace, 
so I decided to ask for your help. I hope you understand. Mr. Pei, your garb shows that you're a court official. I'm only a humble maid. I don't think I could be of much help to you. Tao. Xin Yang. Xin Yang. Xin Yang. You know I've always admired you, and I'm also a good friend of yours, right? Just hear him out, please. Maybe there's something you can do. Hey, I'm only doing this for Annie's sake. Don't you feel too good about yourself, all right? You are not welcome here. I'm here to ask you about a person called Physician Do. He's a very good friend of mine. A few days ago, I took up his time for a favor. I didn't realize he'd be getting back so late to the palace, so I wanted to see if you could please help me find out if he was punished after he returned. He was outside the palace without permission. It isn't just that he won't be back late, is it? What you said is nowhere near the whole truth. How is, is he, he now? all right? I heard he is currently in custody. I really don't know about the details. I heard from your cousin that you're widely respected throughout the harem. If it's not too much trouble, please pull a few strings to help my friend. I'm aware that there will be financial expenses. I'll compensate everything. Aside from that, your assistance will not go unrewarded. I'll be sure to thank you Me properly. Too. As long as you help us, I'll give you everything I've got. If you need more, I'll borrow as much as I can. I only do menial jobs in the harem. I really wish I could help the two of you. But there's really nothing I can do. Qin Yang, I've already been bragging about you to everyone. Telling them you're Master Jewel's only disciple. Please don't go and embarrass me now. Can't you just help them out? Don't go around talking like that. You're so naive. Do you know how big a favor it is that you're asking? It's completely beyond my control. I apologize for troubling you so greatly. I didn't mean to. Could you find out what happened to him and please let us know everything that you can? I want to know if he has been mistreated or even tortured. Please tell him that his friends will do anything to help him. Mm. That he can't give up hope. I would be ever in your debt. I'm begging you. Jin Yang, I'm begging you too. I'll just keep kneeling here until you agree to help them. I'll kneel myself to death if that's what it takes. Get up first. I'm just a small fish there, in a very large and dangerous pond. I've only survived this long because I know to be cautious. But Tawu has never begged me like this. All right. Seeing that you're so worried about your friend and you've been so sincere, after I get back, I'll see what I can find and let you know. But that's all I can do. I can't go any further, and you don't need to give me anything. Thank you, Chinya. I am eternally grateful. If you ever need my help, I'll do anything for you. You see? I told you Chinya wouldn't turn me down. 